You think this is sticking it to the backlash? You think this is owning the racists? You have no idea how much of a self-own this actually is for uh, these, uh, what is it, serfs, the serfs, or Disney for that matter. Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, folks. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, yeah, um, this channel, or uh, yeah, they have a YouTube channel, the serfs, who uh, both have their pronouns in their bio because they are somehow confused that they are male. And they forget that they're male and they need a daily reminder. They seem to have uh, made a tweet here. Don't tell the racists, but non-white mermaids were already a effing official, or were already in the effing official cartoon series. Yeah, I'm well aware of the character of Gabriella. I used to watch this show when I was younger. It was something to watch, you know, past the time. But I also learned from it. And uh, this character, Gabriella, she's deaf. She's a Hispanic girl, Latina, and uh, she used American Sign Language to talk. You see this uh, octopus here. His name is Ollie, and he was her interpreter. He let her know what she, or he let others know what she was saying when she signed. Now, here's why this is actually an own toward Disney, not towards any perceived or accused racist backlash. They could have used this character as the lead in a movie, but they didn't. Instead, they took a white character, changed her black, all for the sake of diversity, which they already had. They could have made a movie called Gabriella, the Little Mermaid. They could have easily made that, given her an original story. You know, something that they are completely incapable of nowadays. Originality. And instead, they took a white character, made her black. And before you all uh, come at me saying, oh, you're just racist, you hate black people. No, I don't. I'm against all forms of race swapping and gender bending and all of that nonsense. I don't like it at all. When it happens, I call it out especially if I'm aware of it. And uh, so, yeah, they should have kept Ariel White with red hair because it seems that Hollywood and comic book corporations and Disney hate white people with red hair specifically because they keep on making them black in their... Uh, or Latina in their uh, shows and adaptations. They continue to race swap... White people with red hair specifically into people of color or Latinas or minorities. But yet, here they actually had an original character, Gabriella. Not white. They could have made her the lead in this movie, but they didn't. And you want to know why? Because of the simple fact that they have to erase white people. Disney is more racist than people want to admit. Yeah, you get to go down to Disney World, have fun, see the sights, ride the roller coasters. But in when it comes to their entertainment, they are the most hateful people ever. They want to indoctrinate your kids with sexual themes. They feel that they are responsible for teaching your kids that instead of you teaching your kids about LGBTQ stuff when they're old enough to understand it. And they want you to hate yourself if you're white because you have white privilege, which doesn't exist in real life. And they want to constantly continue erasing white characters and make them different races, all for the sake of diversity. And in this case, they could have done it right, but they didn't. They could have made her her own movie. But they didn't. Anyway, folks, yeah. I would like to know what you all think. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Yeah. Do you think that they could have made a Gabriella the Little Mermaid movie? And do you think that they need to stop the racist 
race swapping and keep characters the way they are and maybe people will learn once again to identify with people not because of the same skin color but because of the same moral values anyway folks this has been orange hat reviews stay humble <laughs>